Good morning. Perhaps one of the most misunderstood uh, words in the English language is love. I want to talk a little bit about love today. I think there is a myth, a myth that Hollywood uh, doesn't instill because it was already there, uh, but reinstills in us and beefs it up and makes it stronger, that love is all about romance. Uh, that it's eternal longing and passion and youth and beauty. And that's all great stuff, and I'm all for it. I vote for it. But love in the Bible runs a lot more deep than that. Love in the Bible, the Greek term is agape. And it doesn't mean, uh, oh, I think you're wonderful. Oh, you make me feel so good. Oh, I'm incomplete without you. Uh, it doesn't mean any of these things. It doesn't mean, oh, I intended to do this or that for you. Agape in the New Testament is doing the best you can for another human being. Uh, I'm reminded of the fiddler on the roof where Tevia's wife, uh, Tevia asks his wife, uh, do you love me? And she says, I darn your socks, I take care of you when you're sick, I smell you, when you don't smell good, uh, do I love you? Well, I guess I do. Uh, whoever wrote Fiddler on the Roof understood that loving is about doing what you can for another human being. Uh, so the next time you think you're falling out of love, remember what love really is.